Hi Jen, quick video to show you what I did. You have a 65 amp hour battery in here now to run the winch, exclusively the winch. It can give you up to 675 amps of cranking power. Really bitchin'. It has an onboard charger. Whenever you're done plowing, just plug it in. You'll see you got lights going. It's really dead. It'll go red, which is what it did for the buggy when we first started. And it slowly crept and started charging up again. So this is your maintenance charger. Um, this LED stays on even when you disconnect the power plug. So if you're leaving for a while, that LED is a drain. I put wing nuts on separately from the winch cables so you can just undo the wing nuts and pop off the charger connector. Light will go out, unplug it, you're good to go. Okay, coming down. Um, Based on my maritime Coast Guard experience, I did not like the way Honda did anything. What I did is I used commercial quick disconnect battery connectors. So right now that battery comes down. I have chafe guard up here. That battery connects directly into the winch circuit. That is the power going up forward to the winch, not the controller, just the winch. The connector that goes to the battery, and you still have one here, that's is if during the summer you might want to use the winch. When you take the battery out and store it for the summer, you can plug into this one. In the meantime, there's a tie wrap on there to keep sure that that weather seal is on there and it doesn't foul that connector. These are stamp crimped and soldered. So all the copper has been wetted and you have good connectivity and then heat shrink's been put over them. Did it the same way I would have done it for the Coast Guard. Okay. The ground for the winch because there's just a limited amount of room in here I couldn't put it to the battery I put it to the chassis I scraped away the insulation polished it put it there the positive lead that will is the battery connection comes down to the battery rather than up to the starter because it doesn't have room just pure and simple there's no reason to have to put it up there which is what Honda told its dealers to do Honda's got some, you know, I don't blame the dealer, I blame the uh, technician engineer back at Honda for that kind of a stunt. So that's just a pity. Okay, now anyway, the power goes forward, the winch isn't working. And of course, check your own work, make sure you did it right. Came forward, the controls work when the engine's running. Between red and black, I have 12 volts. Between yellow and blue, even when nothing's being commanded, I got 12 volts. That tells me that I've got power going to the motor and the motor should be turning, but it's not. You told me that when it shut down, it shut down and it just went down slowly to drop the plow. I think what happened was excessive current for low voltage. This, I believe, is shot. This is the, uh, the relay actuator. And I feel really badly because I have two spares back at the house. The other thing I'm afraid of is I think your winch is shot, okay? I think that activity and whatnot burned up the winch. I don't know, but the fact that you've got power to the winch and the winch doesn't work, that's a problem. So, there's nothing wrong with the wiring harness. This needs to be replaced, okay? The winch needs to be replaced the actuator needs to be replaced. That is a plug and play with the competent text with a wrench, okay? Because of the way the wiring's hooked up now, turning off the ignition is one thing. They're gonna wanna pull, unplug the battery. So that's not a big deal. They're good to go. Um, I'm sorry, I really wanted to give you something that was gonna rock it, uh, and it's not rocking it. So, oh, by the way, Honda did not put a fuse in the line for the winch, which if you really bought a winch anywhere, they're gonna give you a fuse for the winch. My recommendation, and I'm gonna leave one for you, is that it's installed on the red lead or the ground lead, it doesn't matter, but up here. There's no room in the battery case for a fusible link, but that is to protect stuff. So, see you at dinner, bye-bye.